Hi book lovers! Today I'm doing a review of The Summer I Found You by Jolene Perry. I received this book as an ARC on that galley in exchange for a review. So here's my review. So this story is told in alternating points of view between Kate, a girl who's dealing with her recent diagnosis of diabetes, and Aiden, a boy who is home from the army after losing his arm. So the two are kind of thrown together on a whim by Kate's best friend, who also happens to be Aiden's cousin. So first of all, I absolutely adored this book. And I'll tell you why. At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about Kate because at the beginning of the book, she gets dumped by her boyfriend. And so she kind of spends a little while, a lot of while being like, whiny and wanting to get him back and all that stuff and yes that's like a very realistic response for a lot of teenage girls I guess but personally like that turned me off a little um and then Aiden was also kind of like a little bit whiny but that's understandable I mean that's really understandable because he just lost his arm so anyway once the two of them are thrown together the story just totally had me from that point on they were so adorable together um Immediately when she meets him, she sees that he doesn't have his arm and she makes this, she just blurts out the first thing that comes to her mind. I don't remember what she said, but it was so kind of insensitive, inappropriate, like something that people wouldn't say to him. And then she's like mortified, but he doesn't mind. And so kind of one of the reasons that he is drawn to her and he wants to keep being around her is because of that, because a lot of other people are kind of walking on eggshells around him. And she's not. She's just treating him like anyone else, and he really likes that. And the reason that Kate likes to spend time with Aiden is that he doesn't know she has diabetes, and basically her parents are always on her case about managing her blood sugar and what she eats, and even her best friend, and everyone at school, and her ex-boyfriend. Everyone is basically into her business. And finally, she has this guy, and like he doesn't know this about her, so she doesn't have to worry about it. So I really, really appreciated that the author gave these like motivations for the characters to get together and to be spending time together. They just both kind of decide they want to keep hanging out with the other one, not even romantically at first, just for these various reasons, because they make them feel good. And I really liked that they didn't fall into that insta-love trap that a lot of YA couples fall into. Um, so it, they took time for their relationship to develop, but yes, eventually they did start to really care about each other, and I just really adored, I just adored them. I adored their story, I adored this book. Um, but inevitably, something goes wrong in this big climactic scene, which I could see coming from the first page. I think a lot of people probably would, but that's okay. I mean, that doesn't make it, that didn't make me enjoy it any less. Um, so things have to start to unravel, because that always happens in a YA romance, but then they get their stuff together and they work things out and I like how they each helped each other like overcome their own problems and issues and they just were really good for each other and they really helped each other and I loved it guys I loved it so that's all I have to say this book comes out this book is coming out March 1st but actually I think you can already buy it on Amazon I think I just saw that I don't know so go check it out if you want and um, I'm putting a link to my blog post down in the TARDIS where I reviewed this in real sentences instead of babbling coffee sentences. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. All right, thanks for watching. Bye! Now go read.